Hey, what's going on, guys? I'm here. Can't have it. Yeah, you can't have that one. No. Nope. Ooh. Ooh. Nah, I'm just kidding. They're coming soon. <laughs> Maybe. They're in the testing phase. Alright, what are we doing today? We are answering questions submitted by viewers. Alright, so I put a little, um, little post up on my community tab to see if uh, anybody had questions. Also put it up on Instagram, but we're gonna start with the YouTube comments. Alright, first one. To sum up climbing in two words, <laughs> probably have to say... Bruh! Moment. <laughs> um... Did I take yours? Yeah, you took mine. <laughs> say that. Shit. Okay, uh, two words. <laughs> Fuck. And fuck. <laughs> that was really good. You'd be a Nate comedian. <laughs> so that was, that was from Gabriel Marengo. Mango. Mango. <laughs> Minecraft eating sound. Red Sky LB says, Where do you get video inspiration from? I get a lot of inspiration from. <laughs> I mean, we're kind of inspiring Mellow, so I could I wouldn't say they're uh, they're a big inspiration for us, but we inspire them. Sean asks, uh, what should I do to get over a grade I've been stuck on? Uh, good question, Sean. Don't. <laughs> Take. I feel like if you're ever stuck in climbing. You just gotta do something different than what you've been doing. Go climb outside or go to a different gym. Wow. But like for me, like I know I'm shit at like flexibility and like my techniques is like pretty ass. Um, so I like, it, my weaknesses are a lot more obvious. So I feel like if you're stuck on a grade, you should just like reevaluate what uh, strengths and weaknesses you have, and then just work on your weaknesses. Do you struggle with motivation after sending a project? That's an excellent question because after sending Variant, <laughs> I had a little bit of an existential crisis. Jesus fucking Christ! <sighs> what the fuck? Yeah, I haven't really had much motivation since, to be honest. Um, so yes, I do. Haven't really done dealt with that before variant but I'm kind of just riding the wave right now climbing when I feel like climbing doing other stuff all right another question I like this one if you stop climbing for six months how fast do you think you could build finger strength back to a level required to do hard climbing again and that is a Cyrus rush day rush day question um, the shitty thing about finger strength that's also kind of lit is it takes a long time to train to get stronger, it takes a long time to lose it. So I honestly think my fingers would only get marginally weaker in six months. I've taken extended time off climbing before. Yeah. And like usually I come back feeling like shit, but after a couple weeks I'm back in the back in the thick of it. Into the thick of it! Oh! The main thing that I think uh, would happen if I took six months off of climbing is I would develop morbid obesity, and that would really hurt my climbing, because mm. uh, I'd just be eating and eating because I like food. Eating donuts. Donuts, bro. <laughs> Once you're not climbing, they go straight to your thighs. <laughs> like that picture of Squidward. <laughs> what picture of Squidward? You know when he eats all the Krabby Patties? Editors, throw a picture of Squidward. <laughs> It'll go right to your thighs. My thighs? And then you blow up. 
<laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Alright. <laughs> the one wind. Yo, shout out. Shout out the one wind. He's a homie. How many pull-ups, with or without weight, should somebody be able to do so that V10 is possible? Also coupled with that, what should they be hangboarding on and with or without? Holy shit, there's a long comment. Wait. So just like strength benchmarks that generally coincide with V10. Like weighted pull-ups? His dimensions are similar to yours, Devin. The dimensions are very similar to mine. And I think I can do like 90-ish pounds? Roughly like 60 or 70, I think. Yeah, so that'd be a pretty good benchmark. There's no like formula for it, because um, technique is such like a big part of climbing. But yeah, maybe 60-70% of body weight. I mean, you could probably climb B10 and not even be able to do like... 10 pull-ups. Yeah, or like plus know, 30 pounds or something. Yeah. And you could probably do plus 0 pounds and just climb kind of like a slab B10. Editor throwing a video of a slab B10. <laughs> throwing that video that Mello posted to that kid. <laughs> And then hangboarding. At V11, it's usually like one arm hang on a 22 mil, like the Beastmaker middle edge. Next question from Victor. How much time do you spend on the spray wall? How long is your average climbing session at the gym? And do I even lead climb? Bruh. Spray wall sessions are usually pretty compact for like two hours max. Just like staying focused, trying hard. You don't have to spend that long at the gym. Lately, I've been spending like no time at the gym because of the whole existential crisis thing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, when I was training hard, I'd be like three hours at the gym, six days a week. Not, not a ton. That's kind of a lot. And then do I even lead climb? Do I? No. Can I? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I have climbed 14A though. On to the next one. Tips for finding inspiring projects. Ooh. So, go through the guidebook, whatever has the highest number, that's the inspirational one. A hundred percent of the time. Just watch a bunch of fucking YouTube videos. True, yeah. I, I usually look for YouTube videos. For me, I like the tall stuff. Um, so if it's tall, usually I'll be attracted to that. You just gotta find your tastes. Like I like them tall. I like them short. Uh, and it's a boulders curvy, man. Whew. She, she thick. Look at a lot of boulders, see which ones tickle your fancy, and then go based on that. And if there's nothing that inspires you, do it anyways, because it'll make you better. All right, do you have any tips for someone who climbs in the V7, V8 range and wants to get into double digits? I was stuck on V7 for a minute. I think that's a, that's a common grade to get stuck at. V8's like kind of a big plateau to get over. Usually it's just like going outside. Like, usually if you climb V7, you're strong enough to climb, like, V9. You just need to, like, get outside, get on it. Climb with, uh, strong people, too. Like, oh, yeah. Climb with like, someone who's way better than you. When I was climbing, like, V7, V8, I climbed with two buddies back in Davis. Shout out Liam Vance and, and Chris Llewellyn. They were, like, V15 strength, and they just shit on me session after session after session. And it just like got me better. If you climb with strong people a lot, you're just like by proxy, you're just gonna be climbing or trying harder stuff, and that makes you a lot better. Like, yeah. When I first came here, I was like a B7 climber, beginning of college. Yeah. And then I've literally only climbed with people that are better than me, and I'm a lot better now. So. So basically, moved to Colorado. Yeah. Is it fucking recording? Dude, I don't think I started recording. No fucking way. Oh, no, I've been recording. Okay. <laughs> Ooh, this is gonna be a fun one. Red Sky, back at it with another question. All right. What does your time climbing look like so far? What got you into it? What did your grade slash competition progress look like? Have your motivations changed? Yes. This is a good question. So, I started climbing with my buddy Adam brought me to, to the climbing gym summer camp, and I was just psyched as fuck, and I was really terrible, to be honest. Like, all the little summer camp kids were just shitting on me. Yeah. So I was just like, damn, I gotta get better. And uh, it took me like a year since starting climbing to climb B3. It, it took me a long time. Um, my progress just was really slow all throughout climbing. 
Um, but then I had one kind of killer year when I went from V7 to V11. I think I was 14. Um, so it's like been pretty steady except for that year, like about one grade a year for a while. I competed a lot as a kid too, because that was just kind of the path you were shoved into as a kid. Just USA climbing is squid game. USA climbing is squid game, bro. Yeah. They just like fucking throw you in there and they're like, win. <laughs> and then there's only one person that actually wins. And yeah. Everyone else just like burns out. <laughs> um, but then I retired comp climbing when I came out to Colorado because there's too much rock climbing. But now I'm getting back into it because. Squid Game got me psyched. <laughs> and my motivations. Um, nah, I've kind of always just been motivated to pull hard moves and climb shit that I think is cool. I guess like my motivation for competition kind of died out because it was too stressful for me, but my mindset has changed a little bit. All right, um, worst double digit I've ever climbed. <laughs> Tyler. Tyler, Heitman, Heitman. Um, I'm thinking. So initially I thought Trice in Flagstaff Mountain. It's just like so fucking dumb. It's this V12. It's the first V12 in the US. It's just like heinous pocket, really high heel hook, crimp, jug. It's like three moves, uninspiring line, contrived. Bah! I think that's probably it. Mm. I'm trying to think of more. Maybe I should scroll through my 8A. I'll, I'll, I'll put some more top contenders when I'm editing this. All right, that's all the YouTube comments. We're heading over to Instagram now. Let's see what the people have in store. Oh, fuck. Uh, <laughs> uh.